Right, so I've created this little test mount here for the Roncam Swift and the Surveilzone HS 1177. And what I've tried to do is get both cameras at the same height, pointing in the same direction, and aligned pretty much like that. But I've, unco I've uncovered another failing of the Runcam mounting hardware. It's really annoying. Now, I'll show you what this mounting hardware looks like. Now, if we look inside this little loop that mounts on the camera, you can see it's got serrations in there. And those little serrations engage in the barrel of the camera on this little lens ring there, which gives it really solid. It's not going to twist or shift. But, but as I have discovered, it is not without its problems. And as I said, I have mounted these two and I've tried to get them perfectly aligned. But if we look at it from the back, you can see the problem I've got. The run cam camera is on an angle. I can't get it perfectly level because if I go one click on those serrations to the well, anti-clockwise, then it, it's angled up this way. And if I go one click the other way, it's angled that way. So I can't get it perfectly level. And that's a small but can be a very irritating situation, especially in something like a multi-rotor where you're judging your angle by the angle of the horizon. So if your camera's tilted, it becomes the devil's own job to fly straight and level because once you've leveled up the horizon, the quad is actually tilted. And that, um, you know, it's a small thing, but it's, oh, I don't know, it's annoying. I've never had a problem with these twisting. So why they serrated the actual clamp here, I don't know. Um, once you tighten it up, it's not going to twist, but now it sort of just has to slot into those little grooves. And you can't get, if you, probably some people will get it level, depends on how that ring's been tightened on the barrel. But the problem is you can't change the angle of that ring without either loosening it or tightening it. And it's pretty tight. And if you loosen it, then your lens may uh, start shifting and you lose focus and things. Yeah, it's a bit of a fail too, I wish. I mean, the, the weakest part so far of this camera is the mounting hardware. It's really disappointing. Having said that, of course, I've got them as close as I can. So we're going to get a tilted video in the... I mean, I could pack up one side of this, but I can't be bothered. So um, I've already spent an hour on this um, part, so part of the review. So now I'm going to hook these up and I'm going to put a video transmitter behind each of them. I'm going to run them back to a couple of DVRs on the ground. We're going to go fly it and see how it handles light and things like that in the air compared to that one. Let's go. Right, so here's the setup on the AXN. I've got the two cameras mounted here on the common plate pointing in the same direction. Unfortunately, I just noticed my motor is losing a magnet, so it's going to be vibrating quite a bit. So there will be some jello or some shaking. I'll try and do some flying with in the glider mode with the motor off, see how we go. But this extra payload, extra drag, extra weight is going to make my glide times pretty short. So there you go. Um, let's run off the balance lead of the battery there. We'll uh, send it up and see what the footage looks like. with the standard camera settings. We'll go and set the wide dynamic range on now.